Footprints outside the house. No evidence of footprints. I think it said no footprints in the snow. And we have seen photographs that were taken the morning of the 26th. By the police. By the police of each of the door entries and around the house. And there was no snow. Urban myth. All right, Chase, what do you got? There are what I describe in my training. We, we've talked before about something called a confirmation glance. If you're looking at an accomplice, you'll probably do it before you answer. If you're looking at two interrogators, you'll probably do it after you answer. But there are five ways you can look at someone that's with you in a conversation to gain something from that person. And they spell out the word crash. The first one is confirmation. It says, I want the other person to nod. The next is relief. Somebody speaks for us and we're glad that they took the opportunity. The next is approval. I'm requesting for the other person to nod or affirm what I'm doing. Then we have suggestion, and this is a request for the, them to continue for me or add some details for me. And finally is help, spelling out crash. H is help, and this is requesting for rescue. And things have gone south in the conversation. I need, I need a bailout. I need a mulligan here. I need you to help me out. And we see this relief glance in this. The moment that his wife speaks, starts speaking to answer the question, we see this relief in his face that somebody else has answered it. And I think it's interesting. There's a strong chin raise in this woman's face by when she's saying by the police and her statement is kind of showing a little indignation and welcoming a challenge. This is what we do when we want to challenge another primate and expose these vital organs. We see it in bar fights even. Drunk people throw their, their chin up and their arms out. I think that's interesting. And right at the end of the clip, we're starting to uh, see something called a pre-swallow movement where this throat is starting to go up as a result of the saliva dump into the mouth, all in. I think there is, there's a few credibility issues with the statement. Scott, what do you got? All right. We're see, I agree with you hundred percent. I didn't catch that swallow thing though. Fascinating. Um, <clears throat> here we see her heads tilted as she's talking. When people, if you say you're playing poker, when poker players are playing, they'll, when they do this and they expose that side of their neck and they get that head back, that denotes, it indicates confidence. So here, She's, she's given information that she knows or that she believes to be true. And she's sort of like sticking it up this interviewers because from, you can tell her, I would suggest her attitude would be more of a holier than thou at that point, because she's almost like, I've got a huge nose. So I can talk about noses. She's almost looking down her nose at that, at her as she's, as she's saying that as her head goes back. Um, and the tone of voice is that dominant tone of voice you use when you're talking to a child or you're, or, or you're, or you're mad at someone and you're, you're saying, well, I'll tell you what I do know. And we have seen photographs that were taken the morning of the 26th. And the same thing with her. We'll see as we go along, her, her um, illustrators get larger as we go. Illustrators are the ways your brain, um, it, it focuses on specific words and emphasizes specific words or phrases, just like I did then. I did then. And so we're seeing a lot of that and it gets more uh, predominant as we go along. But the, the, the longer it goes, the, the more into it she gets of being more dominant over this person. And we'll, we'll talk about some other things that I'm sure everybody's caught them as we go through this, where she's being that way as well. Mark? Yeah, so arrogance, condescension, we see exactly has been said there. The chin comes up, which means she ends, uh, ends up looking down the nose in condescension. That's the over display of kill points on the body in close proximity, basically saying you have no power. I don't think you would strike or if you did strike, I don't think it would have any effect on me. So she's wanting to display power at this point. I think that's because she's wanting to recontrol the story, their story. This is about them getting their story out. And so she uses this idea of the, how forceful she, she is. There was no snow. Um, I almost said it there, fake news. She says, um, but instead she says urban myth. And urban myth was the kind of 80s, 90s version of fake news. She's saying everybody else has controlled this narrative. They've made up stories about this. 
now I'm taking control of the story. This is our story. So I think that's what people don't like. This is my first indicator of she's not a very likable person in this situation because she wants to assert power. That as a good generalization across many cultures is a, a female asserting power is, is not looked on well. It's often look, looked on well by men and women. They don't neither like it. They want the women to share power, but she's taking control of this. I'll, I'll show you later on how actually she's very similar to Margaret Thatcher, the, uh, the 80s uh, prime minister of the UK. Very, very similar vocal range, very, very similar gestures as well. Again, again not a likable woman by many people at the time. So assertion of power, assertion of the narrative, uh, Greg, what do you got? Yeah, so you guys have gotten almost everything I had. There are a couple of other small things. Number one, you could have just as easily finished this sentence with you stupid twit. That's the whole demeanor that she has when she's talking to this woman. It's it's condescending, it's arrogant, it's telling, it's you always talk about that pawing, that pushing down. She's pushing down when she's talking to this person, Mark. And the other piece that she does is she does what I typically refer to authority by association hear her blast police out. She uses that word like it gives her some kind of authority. Police. And we'll hear her again do what I would call holy ground or take some kind of authority figure and use it to validate her story. That's the only thing I saw that you guys haven't mentioned. I mean, great round cover. I think all of this, you're, you're dead on. I, I think when I was watching this, all I could think was letting them eat cake. Famous last words. She's condescending. She's looking down her nose. And it's hard to like her. And if you don't like her, you're going to look for reasons why she did it. That's what I'll leave this piece at. Okay. Footprints outside the house. No evidence of footprints. I think it said no footprints in the snow. And we have seen photographs that were taken the morning of the 26th. By the police. By the police of each of the door entries and around the house and there was no snow urban myth if you like this video get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here